Welcome back to The Right Gun. Today, really excited to be shooting the Canik TTI Combat. But before we get into that, if you see this content and you like content from The Right Gun, please like, subscribe, and share. Share this content with at least one person. Help us get our name out there. Help us grow this channel and the community. Now, as promised, let's take a look at the Canik TTI Combat. This unholy alliance between Canik and Terran Tactical Industries was meant to give you a combat and competition pistol feel at a price that doesn't break the bank. It is worth noting the model that I shot had the mechanic optic on there. As you will no doubt see, the mechanic optic is kind of a knockoff of the Trigicon SRO, but do not let that fool you. This optic is very capable. The glass was very clear. It had a wide field of vision, and I really enjoyed running this optic. If you watched any of my other reviews on Canik, you will know that I am not a Canik fan. It's not that I don't like them. Again, it's, they're just a gun style that I, I don't care for. However, for in case of the TTI combat, I will make an exception. This gun has a very good feel in the hand, the grip and textures are great, the gun wants to run fast, and it does have a lot of nice ergonomic features that I did like. One feature I don't care for, and we'll just get that out of the way up front, is the elongated surfboard slide catch. I just don't like it. It's totally an aesthetics call on my part. Now let's get into a little more holistic view of the gun. As you can see with the fiber optic front sight, on the very back, you have the loaded chamber indicator and just a quick view of the red dot there. The ergonomics are fantastic and the trigger as well, fantastic. Flat face front trigger, nice crisp brake, trigger blade safety. As for capacity, two 18 round magazines come with it. One has a plus three extended base plate. You see that right here, so that is 21 rounds. The other quote unquote flush fit magazine is 18 rounds. And as you can see here, Canik added a flared magwell. This will help you out in competition or a sustained gunfight if you have to strip out magazines very quickly and reload. All right before we send some lead down range, we're going to go over it one more time. You can see the compensator there with the fiber optic front sight. The mechanic optic gives you a very, very large field of vision. It was a fun optic to run. And you can see the loaded chamber indicator there along with the two 18 round magazines. One had the plus three base plate on there. One last note, I have seen some negative uh, videos on this gun about uh, performance issues, stoppages and whatnot. That was not my experience. The gun ran flawlessly, but I only ran about 50 rounds through it. So please take that with a grain of salt. Canik TTI Combat. TTI Combat with the extended magazine. <laughs> 